Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am filming a get ready with me. I feel like I've been doing a lot of them this month, but I thought I would do one hopefully timed with my birthday. My birthday is October 4th, so I'm really hoping I get this one filmed and edited and up before my birthday or on my birthday or whatever. Not really anything to do with my birthday, but I just didn't know what else to call it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I also have my Stormtrooper mug. It's filled with coffee because I got like zero sleep last night. Thank you guys as always for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> I am going to start with my eyes today. So actually, no, no, I wanted to start with my face because why not? I'm going to use my Milani Prime Light Primer. My face is so red today. I don't know what is happening. Could have been because I got like four hours of sleep last night, but I don't know why it's so red. Anyway, happy birthday to everybody who is born in October. Happy Libra season to all of the Libras out there. I'm not super into astrology. I don't know that much about it, but I do really like to read the um, character traits, not like the horoscopes, but the actual character traits on the like people's different personality types and stuff that are associated with the signs. And I find those to be actually quite um, accurate. Just using my, you know, this guy that I'm trying to finish up. Yeah, I actually find the personality traits and things like that to be quite accurate for the different signs. But anyway, happy Libra season. Happy birthday to everyone who is celebrating. I hope we're gonna get some good weather in fall and not just super rainy and dreary. Not fall, I meant October. I hope that we're gonna get some good weather in October is what I meant and not just rainy and dark and, and gloomy days. And then for concealer, actually no, I think I'm gonna do my concealer after I do my eyes. So I'm gonna switch over to my Soph X Extra Spice Palette for Makeup revolution and i want to do something simple because i have another video to film today and i don't want to go crazy with the colors because it's a lipstick video so i want to just take the shade cookie dough and start with that one that's the one like downside of this palette i feel like there's no light transition shade like this is probably the lightest so if you're really fair or you just have paler skin you might struggle with the transition shades in this palette they really only have this one. I hope this look doesn't turn out like every other fall look that I've done. I'm gonna take the shade... Maybe I'll do a smoky brown. I'm gonna take the shade Lakes. I don't wanna go too dark, but I also feel like I've done... Every look I've done has been like warm, smoky eyes, so I kinda wanna do... Maybe more of like a cooler tone smoky eye. When I'm filming this video, it's actually still the end of September. It is September 25th today. I just finished up work for my Friday and I wanted to film a couple videos before I go home to my parents for the weekend. So it's not quite um, my birthday yet, but I'll try and get this video uploaded in time. It's crazy that it's like another birthday. I feel like I just had a birthday. Every time my birthday hits these years, I just feel sad because I hate getting older. Sometimes I feel like excited about getting older, but then sometimes I'm like, I don't wanna be 30. I've just entered my late 20s, which is weird. I feel like 27. I'm, oh my god, I'm turning 27. I feel like 27 is late 20s now. And it's uh, not a nice feeling, I don't think. I might take the shade brownies with a slightly smaller brush. And I'm going to use brownies on my lash line, just on the outer 
corner. I'm trying to hang on to my youth with whatever I have left and that's why I've got this sparkly hair clip in my hair today. Not for somebody in their late 20s, but I'm just trying to hang on to whatever youth I have left. How have you guys celebrated your birthdays? If you've had a birthday already during quarantine, like how has that gone for you and like what did you and your family or your friends do for you while you were having your birthday. I mean, it's kind of a weird year for everyone. Obviously, we can't celebrate the same way we normally would, but it's kind of nice to see what people have been doing for their loved ones on their birthdays. I was gonna keep this kind of like grungy, but I want to add, I'm gonna add a little bit of dreams to my like inner corner. It's kind of a gold, bronze shade. These shadows are so creamy and I'm going to just add it to the inner half or actually like inner third of my eye maybe. I probably would have left it as a fully matte look but I just did one of those like I just filmed one uh like a fully matte eyeshadow look so I guess it's kind of Nice to use shimmers once in a while. One thing we started doing this year was teaching piano virtually, because I teach piano on the side. We had to start doing virtual lessons. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I feel like I have, but it's like kind of nice to do virtual, but I know that it's really challenging for the kids sometimes. And even to like teach, it's pretty tricky. So I can't even imagine what it's like for teachers that are trying to teach like young kids virtually. I'm just taking a bit of the shade Reputation, which is just their matte black. And I'm gonna be very careful so that I don't go overboard, but just add a little bit of black to the outer corner. I always go overboard when I use black, so I have to be really careful. I'm just gonna blend that all in. Okay, I'm going to stop there with the eyes for right. Oh, I just realized I wasn't zoomed in. I definitely wasn't zoomed in for any of that. I am so, so sorry. Oh my God. I'm gonna leave the eyes as that and go on and do my concealer, the L'Oreal Age Perfect Concealer. Oh my gosh, I really wish I had zoomed up for you guys. I always like to do my eyes a little bit more zoomed up but i totally forgot i've been so sidetracked today and while i'm up here before i finish off my eyes i'm going to just do some bronzing this is of course my elf not elf oh my gosh my physician's formula stick bronzer in the shade toffee i guess this eye now that i've added the shimmer and the black it could be a little bit more of like a glam makeup look like for me i mean a lot of people are way more glamorous when they do real eyeshadow but for me this would be a pretty like intense like fancy night out event party type makeup look and i am just going to use some blush this is the i'm actually going to take it on the my stipple brush. This is the Wet n Wild Hustle and Glow Cream Blush. I find that these ones are a little bit less creamy, so they actually apply better when I take them like on my brush versus uh, applying it from the bullet directly onto my face. It's such a nice blush though. It's like the perfect shade of peach with just a hint of glowiness. I really like it for the fall time. I hate the packaging because the black always rubs off on my fingers, but the actual product is beautiful. I'm gonna set everything in place with my Milani powder. And then I'm gonna spritz my face with my Catrice HD Active Performance Freezing Spray. It's so nice having my mug warmer back because my coffee never gets cold now when I film videos. While that's drying on my face, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I actually used up my NYX Micro Brow Pencil 
So I'm back on the Catrice. What is this called? Eyebrow stylist. Oh, that's all it's called. <laughs> Eyebrow stylus, there's nothing, nothing special about it, but it seems to work really well for me. And it also has this spoolie. I can never say that word, but it has a spoolie on one end, which is convenient. And I was using this before I remembered that I wanted to use up that NYX micro brow. So I'm just back on to using this product again. And I think it does a really nice job and it was really cheap. I already have pretty hairy and dark brows, so all I need in a brow product is something that's gonna kind of fill in the sparser areas and just make them a little bit more defined. What I really need is a good brow gel, but haven't found one yet. Okay, I'm gonna go back into this palette. I'm gonna take the shade Edo under my eyes. Well, on my lower lash line. I don't wanna do anything too dark under here. I say that now, it's probably gonna end up dark. I'm gonna take the shade Brownies, no, actually Lakes. That first like darker, more cooler toned brown, and I'm only gonna apply it to the outer half of my eye lash line. Oh, I feel like I went too dark again. I always do this. <laughs> Curling my lashes and then I'm going to apply some of this Essence You Better Work mascara. Mascara was really flaky today. Okay, and then the last thing is lips. And for lips, I'm going to use the NYX Suede Matte in the shade Free Spirit. And that sums up this makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. I just kind of felt like sitting down and putting on my makeup in front of you guys. So hopefully you liked it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.